Obviously, if we can handle the amounts, it's going to be all right locally, I think. But in Northern California, places like the Russian River, real threat to have some serious flooding in Northern California. And again, we have a number of storm systems stacked up. Wow, you can see the traffic out there. There's no traffic out there. Looks pretty good today. Really good today. Temperatures in the mid 50s to about 60 degrees. We have some intermittent peaks of the sunshine today. And the winds starting to get that southerly direction. The winds will pick up dramatically as we get to about the 8 o'clock hour. So let's get right to it. How much rainfall? Between 3 tenths of an inch and an inch and a half. A lot of people are going to be on the lower end of the scale. I'll show you the uh, map coming up here. Up to two plus inches, still possible in some of the higher elevations in San Luis Obispo County. This is not a flooding threat for Santa Barbara County due to the amount of projected rainfall. When does it really get going? Like I said, going to be after midnight. Through the middle of the overnight, early tomorrow morning, rain, some pockets of moderate to heavy rain at times. But the thing is, it's not going to keep going hour after hour. Now, this is noon. You can see it's starting to break up in San Luis Obispo County to scattered showers. Some of the heavier rain moves across Santa Barbara County through mid to late tomorrow. And then just on and off as we get into Thursday morning and then a significant break Thursday into Friday. But again, another system on the way for Saturday. So our high resolution model, which just covers this first system between three tenths of an inch across Santa Barbara County, even possibly less than that to that inch and a half and two inch potential up along the North Coast. So it's not a huge system for us, but in Northern California, not only that flooding rain north of the Bay Area, but also feet of snow in the mountains. Then after that, we have to talk about the next system for the weekend. We get this subtropical plume headed our direction again, and modeling is still showing the potential of up to three inches of rain. I wouldn't say there's a lot of consensus about the Saturday storm. There are models that say a lot less, more like a half inch of rain or something for the weekend. But this is a look at the American GFS model, which again has the front side system, agrees with our model. But this is as we go through the weekend, half inch, maybe an inch and a half with that system. It's lighter. But all models agree the middle of next week could see another one to three or even four inch system hit our area. So cumulatively, if you look at the week, that's a lot of rain. All right, this system right now is still situated to our north, and you can see it has a lot of this fetch of southwesterly moisture moving into the area. Again, Monterey County seeing the lighter rainfall that will slowly creep in here, but look at this area north of Santa Rosa. There's actually one location that has already seen 12 inches of rain for this storm with another probably two to six on the way. But San Francisco proper only has about a half inch of rain. So our only advisory is the wind advisory for our area mountains for winds 20 to 30, gusts up to 50 miles per hour, and also gale warnings out for the marine areas. But tomorrow, other than just the showers, you're looking at temperatures topping into the mid to upper 50s. This is a look at Paso Robles. Many more hourly forecasts available on our free KSBY weather app. It's awesome. You get radar, our forecasts, and a lot more. So low to mid 60s for everybody tomorrow. We'll all be in a very similar air mass. Overnight lows tonight, very mild with the southerly winds picking up 50s for lows at the coast and even inland temperatures near 50s for lows. The five and the seven day forecast, very, very active. More details on all of that too. KSBY.com and social media. See you at six. Back to you.